Hey guys, welcome to Behind the Fan, and we are so excited to introduce you to some of the fans behind your favorite fan accounts. Hi, I'm Jessica, and I run TaylorSwift.updates on Instagram. I remember like very vividly watching the Love Story and You Belong With Me music video when I was probably 10, like on the floor with like my best friend. She like was like, I found this really cool music video I wanna show you. And it was on like a little iPod Nano. So the screen was like this big. And we just like loved it and just sort of kind of fell in love with Taylor and her songwriting and her storytelling. And I went, went to the library and rented the Fearless CD and downloaded it to my computer. Um, and then just, I don't know, I was just hooked and I ended up seeing her the next summer on the Speak Now tour. And I think once I saw her live, just the show that she puts on just was so captivating. And the way that she like captivated an audience and made you feel like you were the only person in the room and she was singing just to you was so special. And I think from that point out, I was like, this girl is special. Like I wanna keep being a fan and like following her career because she's just incredible. No, it's so hard. I always, people always ask me that and I'm like, I, it's so hard to pick one because she has so many albums. <laughs> Um, but Starlight has always been one of my favorites. I just love the storytelling in it and I'm always just one for like a little happy romantic love song. It depends on my mood. That's just what the hard thing is. I think Reputation is the album that like feels really special to me because that just came out at a really special time in my life and I like met a lot of my friends because of that album and that's when I met Taylor was on that tour. Um, I also love Lover. Um, I know not a lot of people like Love Lover, but I love like the pastel pinks and blues. Like that's my entire aesthetic. Um, I just, I love happy love songs. So that just album makes me very happy. But then I also love like Fearless and Speak Now are like so nostalgic and just like always gonna be like my fave. So it's like four albums. I'm so sorry, I can't pick one. <laughs> I went to the last two shows of the Reputation Tour that were in Dallas. My friends and I actually won tickets to the last night of tour. So we like drove from Nashville to Dallas for the show and we're like, well, we're going to the second one, so we might as well go to the first one. Um, so we just bought like nosebleeds, like $40, like three seats, not even together. So we went and we went up to our seats right when the show started and we were just kind of dancing around and like having a good time and we realized they were like filming the show because we saw all the camera equipment and then this lady came up to us who worked for Taylor and was like, hey, would you guys want to like sit on the floor? And we we're like, uh-huh, yeah, that would be great. So we got upgraded to the floor, three seats together, um, like on an aisle, like super close. They were like fantastic seats and we ended up getting filmed for the tour documentaries. So if you watch the movie during New Year's Day, there's a cute little clip of all us all like hugging. Um, so it was just like, that was just such a special night because I like went with all of my friends that I met because of her through college and it was like my first semester in college. So it was just like this perfect little moment. I love the moment when the artist walks on stage. I think there's just such an energy, like with the anticipation, like when the lights go down and everyone gets excited and they're just like there and like start singing. Just like the excitement is like so fun to me. Um, but I also love hearing the stories behind songs. Um, so if like they ever like talk about like sort of like the meaning behind things and just getting different stories that you might not just know by like listening to the album, I think that's always really special. Yes, I don't know if like I obviously like connected the dots. It took a while to kind of get there, but I've always loved music. I've always loved just being a part of music. I've always just loved being surrounded by it. And when I was looking at colleges, I was kind of looking at different programs they have. And I'm like, oh, I feel like Nashville would be a fun place to go. And then I could like, you know, have music stuff there. And I was like, wait, maybe I should like try to have a career working in the music industry because it just kind of like made sense. But I'm more of like a, video production, photography, social media type of person. So like that was what I wanted to do. And I'm like, I could do it anywhere. But then I was like, I think Nashville would be great because then I could 
just sort of like blend my two interests together. But it was a lot of Taylor who inspired that because I would always make little videos to her songs when I was younger and just that aspect of like connecting creativity to music I think I learned a lot from her she is such a creative person and that's definitely like kind of spilled out onto me is just seeing how she like visualizes her songs and her music and just how every piece of content is like so intentional and I think that that's like a big takeaway that I've like learned from her definitely um I have learned so much just about like creating a community and what types of content people want to see. And I think that one of the big things I've learned is that people just really want to stay like up to date on like what an artist is doing all the time and like knowing everything. So like as like working for an artist, like making sure that like people know when you have shows and they want to see behind the scenes content and they want to just like know everything about what you're doing because that's like how you get to know an artist and that's how you build a community. And also another thing I've learned is just like the fan engagement. Like if you can find ways to connect fans to each other, that's really kind of where it all starts. Um, like, especially for me when I was thinking about where to go to school and like what I wanted to do with my life. Like I thought a lot about all of the relationships that I've made through music and just how special that is. There's something about music that really bonds people. And I actually like went to Belmont because of a friend that I had met through an artist. It's those connections that you get from being fans for people that are just so special. And I think that that's something that I really want to incorporate a lot into like my career. I think meeting Taylor was just the most special experience I could have ever had. Um, she had been liking some of my posts on my Instagram account in like over like the summer of like 2018, kind of before I moved to Nashville um, in August. And I just like was really hoping that, oh, maybe I'll get a chance to like meet her at some point. Um, and then I had just moved to Nashville, so it was in August. And the day before I saw her on the reputation tour, um, I posted a little picture of like all the little Taylor things I had in my dorm room on my Instagram account. And I was like, oh, I just moved to Nashville and I'm so excited to celebrate with Taylor like tomorrow night. And she ended up liking that post. And I just like had this like feeling, I'm like, oh my God, something's gonna happen tomorrow. And I went to the show and sure enough, like one song into her starting, she had just finished like Ready For It, which was like her opening song. Um, someone tapped me on the shoulder and was like, hey, have you ever met Taylor before? Um, and gave me rough room passes to go backstage and meet her. And I like walked in to go to the hatch. She's like, hi, she's like, I know you. She's like, I see you on Instagram all the time. Like, I've been so excited to meet you. And it was just having just moved to Nashville and being 18 and like first time being away from everyone and like so unsure of everything. It was the most like, I am exactly where I need to be moment. Like there's just like nothing could ever like top that. And it was exactly like the security that I needed to know that I was like on the right path. And she just gave me so much advice and was like so encouraging and like, yeah, you have to like pursue your dreams. Like there aren't enough women out here trying to work in the music industry on like video and like, you're just, you're gonna kill it. And like, I can't wait to see where you go in life. And she was just like the most encouraging person ever. I talked to her for like five minutes about everything. And she, yeah, it was just so special. And it was just like the perfect, like you're where you need to be. And yeah, I'll never forget it. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I love Taylor and I love creating a community. And I'm just really glad that I've been able to have this account and just help people build relationships. It's been so fun for me and I've met so many incredible people and a lot of them who like now live in Nashville and are my real life friends. And it's just been, it's been the greatest experience.